In this video, I want to show you how to cure a quill pen that you've cut. Now, um, you saw my other videos with um, the feathers and that I had cut the nibs. Then uh, The next step is to remove all the barbs off the feather. I saw one man in England who does this and he leaves a little bit at the top and said that was traditional. So, I did it that way. Um, I have one of my pens, I actually cut cut it off, so it's up to you. Um, but anyway, you pull off all the barbs. And then, this is a seagull feather I've just cut. And seagulls seem to be a little bit more flexible than a turkey feather. But what I've done, this is a, a Pyrex dish with um, beach sand in it, or play sand. And I have heated the sand to, in this case, 185 degrees. You might want to go up to 200. I have it in a an aluminum pie plate lined with foil so that when it's done heating up, I can just pick up the foil and use it to pour the sand into a Pyrex dish. And then you take your freshly cut nib and stick it in the sand and leave it there until the sand cools. Now what that is going to do um, is make the nib, this area, whatever part you're heat treating, it'll make it a little bit more translucent and it'll also allow you to peel off any membrane that's on there. Now it does slightly harden the nib. I've been using this one which is already stained with ink um, it will slightly harden the nib, which is a good thing. And that's why I'm doing the seagull feather. Um, my brother is going to send me a bunch of feathers. He has a farm. Now, I've, and I know I have chicken feathers somewhere in the house, but I can't find them. Um, so right now I have um, seagulls, uh, turkeys, and believe it or not, when I went looking for the... Um, oak, uh, the oak apple galls, I found crow feathers. I was able to find six crow feathers the other day, and crow quill pens by Hunt are um, imitations of crow quills. But uh, you can see, this is a crow, and you can see how big um, that shaft is. So I'm using the seagull to try and get a small shaft that holds less ink um, because of the paper. I'm testing out all different types of paper and what I'm trying to find is an affordable, easy to find, regular old paper that you can use a quill pen with that won't give you excessive bleeding of the ink. And I'm doing this because I have a project I want to write in Iron Gall ink and um, I want to use a quill and I don't want to spend a hundred dollars on the paper. Um, the best paper if you're doing professional or semi-professional or amateur calligraphy is still Windsor & Newton hot press watercolor paper, I think. There are a lot of calligraphy papers out there in parchment and you'd have to do your own test, but if you want just a really good paper it's Windsor & Newton hot press watercolor paper. But it's expensive. It's um, it's only, I think, about 5 or $6 a sheet, but there's usually a 10-sheet uh, sheet minimum, and the sheets are 22 by 30, and then you cut them to the size you want. So it's $50 um, for 10 sheets, and obviously would be about 100 for the amount of paper I would need. But anyway, um, as I'm working on the paper, I am hoping that the heat treatment of this quill, which will become, I'll do this a couple of times. I'll reheat the sand, put it back in here. And I'm hoping this will harden the seagull feather just a bit. Right now it's very flexible and I need it to be a little bit stiffer. But that is how you cure a quill pen.